हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आर अग्रवाल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू द पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आस्ड बाय यूपीएससी इन कॉमर्स एंड अकाउंटेंसी ऑप्शनल इट इज असेंशियल टू नो द पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चंस फॉर राइट काइंड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन और प्रिपरेशन लेवल स्ट्रेटजी एंड योर स्ट्रेटजी इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल वी आर रैंकर्स क्लासेज वी डील एक्सक्लूसिवली इन कॉमर्स एंड अकाउंटेंसी फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज पर्पज एंड टिल डेट वी हैव प्रोड्यूस्ड more than 270 ranks uh, with commerce and accountancy optional right let us see the pattern of questions asked by eps in commerce right uh, as you see commerce carries uh, 500 marks uh, just like any other optional there are two papers paper 1 and paper 2 250 250 marks in paper 1 there are two sections in paper 2 also there are two sections uh, section a consists of four subjects financial accounting cost accounting audit and taxation and section b consists of uh, two subjects uh, financial management and uh, financial markets and institutions paper 2 consists of uh, section a organization theory and organization behavior and section b human resource management and industrial relations let us see question pattern in brief in each paper upsc asks uh, eight questions right four in section a and four in section b out of uh, uh, eight questions you have to attempt five questions each question carries 50 marks so 50 multiply 5 uh, 250 marks in paper 1 and 250 marks in paper 2 and you must know question number 1 and 5 are compulsory in paper 1 and as well as paper 2 right and once you select any question you have to attempt all the parts of the question in case of uh, compulsory questions there are five short notes and in case of uh, optional questions uh, there are three parts of the questions so you have to attempt all five and uh, all three parts of the question besides these two compulsory questions uh, you have to attempt at least one question from section a and one more question from section b so in this manner two compulsory questions and two compulsory choices uh, four questions and you can attempt the fifth question from anywhere because out of uh, eight questions you have to attempt uh, five only right let us see in detail in paper 1 as you can see it is of 250 marks uh, question number 1 as we have called it is compulsory and question number 5 is also compulsory question number 1 2 3 4 are asked from four areas cost accounting financial accounting and taxation and all of these questions are fairly distributed among all the four areas so you'll have to prepare all the four areas right question number 1 consists of five short notes so these five short notes are asked from all the four areas all four subjects right so you cannot leave any subject because it is a compulsory short note and similarly here these five short notes are asked from both of these areas right that is uh, from fm and fmi right these five short notes are theoretical only theoretical only and they carry 10 marks each so 10 multiply 5 50 marks as i said uh, each question consists of uh, or contains uh, 50 marks and you have to answer each short note in around 150 words means five short notes in total 750 words it is around 150 words so you may write or answer in 130 35 40 50 right but do not cross too much right so this question number 1 is compulsory and same way question number 5 is compulsory we have written out of question number 2 3 and 4 you have to select at least one assume you selected this question and out of question number 6 7 and 8 uh, you have to select at least one question assume you selected this question in this manner you have selected four questions two compulsory question two choice based question now fifth question you can select from either these or these assume you selected this so this is the broad scheme of uh, five questions to be selected uh, so five questions multiply 50 marks each uh, so in this manner you attempt 250 marks questions in paper 1 let us see structure of these so for these questions are concerned they carry marks like uh, 20 15 15 it may be 20 20 10 it may be 15 15 20 so these questions are a mix of uh, 15 marks 
20 marks and 10 marks so you have to prepare for this right and these are mix of theory numerical theory it may be numerical question it may be numerical question it may be theory it may be numerical theory theory it may be theory numerical and theory right and these questions are asked from all the four areas financial accounting cost counting tax and audit we will see the trend also in the next slide right so in this manner you have to attempt five questions similarly uh, <coughs> these questions are asked uh, generally three to four short notes are asked from fm and one to two short notes are asked from financial markets and institutions just like this these are also theory questions theoretical questions and you have to attempt each question in around 150 words uh, and each question cons contains 10 marks multiply 5 equal to 50 marks right just like these uh, mix of 15 10 20 marks uh, so it is also 20 maybe 20 15 maybe 20 15 15 it may be 15 15 20 marks uh, so this marks pattern changes uh, but broadly it is 15 20 and uh, 10 marks mix of and these are the mix of theory and numerical maybe theory maybe numerical maybe numerical numerical theory right we will see the details later and all of these questions are asked from both of these areas but more questions are asked from fm from fm around 150 marks are asked uh, and from fm is around 50 mark questions are asked FMI means financial markets and institutions so this is broad structure of questions asked by UPSC let us see details if you see section A of paper 1 that consists of uh, uh, financial accounting cost accounting audit and tax let us see the details question number one question number one is a mix of short notes from all the four areas uh, financial accounting cost accounting audit tax and one additional question may be asked from financial accounting or cost accounting similarly if you see any other year financial accounting cost accounting tax audit and fifth short note is asked from financial accounting and all of these questions are theoretical and it is marked 10 marks 10 marks 10 marks and we have discussed it is compulsory means uh, you have to prepare all the areas uh, at least for compulsory short note in theory next is question number two question number two there is set pattern if you can see that uh, financial accounting numerical financial accounting numerical so generally question number two a is financial accounting numerical only and question number two b is generally cost accounting numerical maybe sometimes uh, cost theory but there is a set pattern cost accounting numerical and question number c there is set pattern that theory of income tax is asked and generally we suggest that uh, you should attempt this question right because you get two numerical questions that are highly marks fetching and in question number three a also generally question is asked on tax numerical b and c they are having a mix of a uh, theory of financial accounting cost accounting and audit uh, and c is also having a theory of uh, financial accounting cost audit etc so far as question number four is concerned it is a mix of all that is numerical mix of all maybe from financial accounting cost accounting or tax and uh, theory also so question number four is a mix of all so we suggest all of you to prepare question number two for question number two very well right let us see uh, financial management part in financial management part that is section b fm and FMIs as I discussed uh, question number five uh, consists of five short notes uh, all of the short notes are theoretical and ten marks uh, and they are mix of uh, FM and FMIs so three to four short notes are asked from FM and uh, two to one short notes are asked from FMIs and this is compulsory also ten marks five short notes theory only and one short note you have to attempt in around 150 words right question number six a and b generally these are numerical sometimes they are theoretical the green part shows uh, numerical questions and orange part shows theory questions even on the previous screen 
right if you see 7a and 7b they are also numerical so generally we suggest uh, select question number 6 and question number 7 because they are easier they are better and uh, thereafter question number 8 it is a mix of theory and numerical both uh, from fm and fmis so in this manner from fm around 150 mark questions are asked and from fmi around 50 mark questions are asked right so this is uh, about paper 1 let us see paper 2 in paper 2 just like paper 1 eight questions are asked so question number 1 is compulsory so there are five short notes uh, these five short notes are asked from both ot and ob so you can say three short notes from ot and two short notes from ob there may be more short notes also but the general trend is three short notes from ot and two short notes from ob and each short note consists of 10 marks so 10 marks multiply 5 equal to 50 marks and just like paper 1 you have to attempt the question in 150 words each and i must mark it is compulsory it is also compulsory so for the question number 2 3 and 4 there mix of 20 mark 20 mark and 10 mark this is a general pattern 20 20 10 20 20 and 10 and these are mixed from both ot and ob rarely you will find that uh, one question is completely from ot or completely from ob so you will have to prepare ot and ob equally right but there is more weight of ot so you can say on in ot around 55% questions are asked and in ob around 45% questions are asked so that is section a section b that is hrm and ir right so again questions are asked from both the areas uh, around three questions from hrm and around two short notes from industrial relations and same you have to attempt five short notes at the rate 10 marks is so 150 marks and uh, every short note is to be written in around 150 words and that is compulsory right question number 6 a b c so they carry 20 marks 20 marks and 10 marks same 20 20 and 10 20 20 and 10 so this is a pattern and all of these are asked from a mix of hrm and ir hardly you will find uh, any question from hrm only or ir only so you will have to prepare both hrm and ir but uh, a broad trend is from hrm uh, you can say 55% of the questions are asked and from ir say around 45% questions are asked right in paper 2 also paper no, question number 1 and question number 5 are compulsory out of question number 2 3 and 4 you have to attempt at least one for example you selected this out of 6 7 and 8 you have to attempt uh, at least one assume you selected this and rest of the question can be selected any from anywhere for example you selected this question so in this manner in paper Two, you have to attempt five questions of fifty marks each. Uh, that is two fifty marks. Let us see a uh, more minute uh, pattern. <coughs> This green marked area that reflects organization theory questions and orange marked uh, that reflects organization behavior. As I discussed previously, two to three short notes are asked uh, from OT and uh, around two from OB. Right. So this is compulsory question. This is uh, compulsory question. and i suggested 2 3 and 4 you have to attempt at least one and these are mix of these are mix of uh, ot and ob so rarely you can find for example in uh, uh, 2018 all three questions are from ot all three questions from ot all three questions from ot here also all three questions from ot but uh, thereafter you will see a mix of questions from both ot and ob so you should prepare both right let us see next section so next section section b is hrm and ir so here also this is compulsory question question number 5 that is compulsory compulsory so you are asked uh, around three short notes from hrm and uh, two short notes from ir so question number 6 7 and 8 they are mix of uh, hrm and ir but some exceptions you can find for example here only hrm only hrm is asked but thereafter upsc didn't follow that trend so it is a mix of hrm and irs so you have to prepare it and i suggested 
you have you have to attempt at least one question from six, seven, and eight, uh, and fifth question can be selected any from anywhere. For example, you selected question number seven A, right? Seven rather. So this is overall pattern of questions asked by UPSC, right? Uh, if you want to prepare commerce with us, if you want to take our help, uh, we are having a variety of courses that are suitable for all of you. So those who want to prepare in detail, they can go for our foundation course. But those who are professionals uh, or graduates uh, who have prepared commerce well or their basics are clear, they can go for commerce advanced course. Right? In advanced course, uh, we take less least time of yours. Uh, and uh, you can have more time for self study we are having a mentorship course also in which uh, we guide and provide a test series thereafter we are having uh, uh, four kinds of test series one is intensive test series in which there are 64 tests total 64 tests are there 50 chapter test 10 subject test and four comprehensive tests besides that there is perfection in numerical test series it is in paper one only in which we conduct around 60 chapter tests 25 in fm 15 in cost accounting 10 in financial accounting and 10 in income tax in this manner your numericals are strengthened and thereafter we are having enriched test series generally it starts in the month of december and june so in this test series we conduct 18 tests uh, 10 subject test four sectional test and four comprehensive tests and we are having a standard test series which is conducted in the month of june july august means after prelims exam is over it consists of eight tests four sectional tests and four comprehensive tests right and if you want to go for only study material we provide a postal course so complete study material as per your syllabus is provided if you want to contact us <coughs> You can contact uh, in our office, come classroom at uh, Rajendra Nagar about Muthwood Finance. You can join our Telegram channel also so that you stay connected with, uh, with us on a regular basis. If you want to make an inquiry, our contact numbers are also given. You can visit our website www.rankersclasses.in. Want to write? We are having mail ID. So these are the various modes you can connect with us. Thank you.